I'm going to replay Ronaldo's career from the very beginning. I've made him 18 years old, given him his FIFA 04 overall and potential, and I've put him back at his boyhood club sporting. Now I'll be playing through the next 10 seasons to see if Ronaldo can win multiple Ballon d'Ors and become the GOAT. But it's not going to be so easy because Ronaldo's going to have the worst agent ever. That's right, the wheel of career mode is going to be his agent. Sorry, Jorge Mendes, you're out. Every season we're going to be spinning the wheel and whichever club it gives us, that's where Ronaldo will be transferred. Do. That's right, in the first season, if the wheel gives us Stoke City, that's where Ronaldo will be going. And if that happens, um, Ronaldo can forget about Ballon d'Ors. But in spite of having the worst agent of all time, let's see what Ronaldo can do. All right, guys, for season one, Ronaldo is at Sporting for now. But look at that overall 80. I can't believe his first ever FIFA rating was that high. Compare that to Mbappe and Haaland's first ever FIFA rating, Ronaldo is levels clear. But yeah, we've made him a left winger slash right winger because that's where he played back then. Not a striker like now. And we've adjusted his stats accordingly. Look at that finishing. Only 73. But look at that dribbling. It's a lot better. I think Sporting would be a great club for this first season. Just like in real life for Ronaldo to develop. But I don't know if the wheel is going to let him stay. But since it's a bit unrealistic to constantly get transferred, the club where Ronaldo will be at will have a higher percentage chance on the wheel. And new clubs will obviously have lower. But as we go through seasons at one club, that's going to change. Spinning the wheel and let's see first season where Ronaldo is going to be going. Is he going to stay at Sporting? No, no, no way. No way. Is it going to go Brighton? Yo! First season itself, Ronaldo is going to be heading to the Premier League. Oh, Brighton might be a great club to develop at. Fair enough. And so the wheel has made its decision. Ronaldo is now heading to Brighton. All right, guys. We've now got an 18-year-old Ronaldo now playing for Brighton. Feels like we kind of put him in the Premier League a little too early. Ooh, but the problem is, Ronaldo might not even be a starter at this Brighton team. Matoma is too good to be bent. Wait, I think we could maybe play Ronaldo right mid. Remember, that's one of the early positions he played in at Manchester United. This might work. And there you go, guys. We've just converted him to a right winger. And I'm also putting him on an inverted winger development plan. That should help his overall quite a bit. Okay, at least we've now got the team working and Ronaldo should be a starter. But this team is so bad. So we're going to allow ourselves to bring one former teammate of Ronaldo to help him out on this journey. Ronaldo has played with so many amazing players. Who do we bring to Brighton? It would be wrong to bring anyone else but Sergio Ramos, one of Ronaldo's greatest ever teammates. And so Sergio Ramos is joining Ronaldo on this journey. We're now making it through the first season. Can a young Cristiano Ronaldo still dominate the Premier League? Well, looks like he can. 46 games, 14 goals, 7 assists. That is a bit outrageous for an 18-year-old. Well, he's now 19. Only one thing's a bit annoying. He only went up by two overalls. But I'm sure that growth will increase and skyrocket soon. Ooh, but Brighton only 13th in the Premier League. They didn't really make use of Ronaldo. You know, Bar League, they finished bottom of the group. I don't think Ronaldo wants to stay here any longer. Looks like even his buddy Ramos couldn't help him out much. I guess if we want Ronaldo to win Ballon d'Ors, become the GOAT and everything, he needs to move to a better club. But it's gonna be the wheel who decides. The wheel does have a few new clubs on it, like AC Milan and Borussia Dortmund. But there's still Stoke City on there and a big percentage chance of staying at this Brighton team. But let's see what happens. Where is Ronaldo heading to next? Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. I thought it could be Borussia Dortmund. But Ronaldo's gonna have to head to Stoke City? The wheel really is the worst agent ever, man. We're sending a version of Ronaldo that's 82 rated, 19 years old. And look at the stats. He's already scored 10 goals in the Premier League playing as a right winger. And we're actually sending him to a championship club. Unbelievable. The next thing you know, Ronaldo is at Stoke City. The wheel really is the worst agent of all time. Oh, wow. This Stoke City team is absolutely woeful. They don't even have a right winger position. Is Ronaldo going to have to play right wing back? Absolutely not. He's in the championship and I think he needs to be playing up top as a striker, trying to get as many goals as possible. And there you go. Ronaldo is a striker once again. Development plans have been put, but now he's going to have to spend a season at Stoke City in the championship. I do not know how this is going to go down. But remember, guys, every time Ronaldo joins a new club, we can bring back one of his former teammates. I'm pretty sure nobody wants to join Stoke City, but we need someone. And so we're bringing back Kalo Navas. Look at him meet Ronaldo. Kalo probably can't believe why he's at Stoke City. But since Stoke City had a 59 rated keeper, we had to bring in Kalo. And of course, both Ronaldo and Navas have won so much together. It makes sense. But now that Ronaldo is in the championship, I want him to destroy this league. I'd honestly be very disappointed if Ronaldo doesn't win the golden boot and get Stoke promoted. Ronaldo in the championship. 
championship. Let's see how he does. Okay, this is not good. End of the season, and I'm seeing Wood Weghorst winning the golden boot. How many did Ronaldo score? No way. He missed out on the golden boot by two goals. But hey, still, he scored 27 times. Wait, what? His overall went up by five. I think it was the best thing to send him to the championship to stat back. Because that's literally what he's done. 30 goals this season. That's crazy. Oh, and yup, he managed to get Stoke City promoted to the Premier League. Let's go, Ronaldo's first trophy in the video is a championship. Who would have thought? But now that Ronaldo's 87 rated, yeah, I think it's it's time to go because we need to get him to win a Ballon d'Or and he's not doing that at Stoke City. The odds to stay at Stoke City are still pretty high, but the wheel also has a couple of new clubs. Let's find out where Ronaldo is heading. Please not Stoke City. Okay, it's going to be a new club. It's going to be a new club. It's a club from Madrid, but it's Atletico Madrid. This should be interesting. And so Ronaldo is on his flight to Madrid, but not to Real Madrid, but Atletico Madrid instead. To be fair, this is still a lot better than being in the championship or even playing for Brighton. Because look at the team Ronaldo is going to be playing in. Atletico have got Kevin De Bruyne somehow, Antoine Griezmann, Messi's bodyguard as well. He might try and punch Ronaldo though, so Ronaldo's got to beware. But yeah, this is an awesome team to be a part of. And now I think things could actually get serious for Ronaldo. He's 87 rated. So far in his career, he scored 44 times, won one trophy, but that was still the championship. But now in Atletico Madrid, I think Ronaldo could possibly even compete for the Ballon d'Or. But let's hope he can win a lot of trophies here first. Oh, and I completely forgot. We get to bring a former teammate of Ronaldo to Atletico. Maybe a left winger to help assist Ronaldo. That makes sense. And Federico Chiesa is going to be perfect for that. He played with Ronaldo back when they were both at Juventus. For the first time since we reset Ronaldo's career, he's actually got an incredible team around him. Let's go for some trophies, goals, and maybe the Ballon d'Or. We're making it through the season and let's see how Ronaldo does in La Liga. End of the season and no, Ronaldo misses winning La Liga by one point. That is so tough. Real Madrid get the better of him. They even lost the Spanish Cup final. This is brutal. Grouped in the Champions League as well. Yo, Ronaldo has had a tough, tough time at Atletico. Well, on a personal level though, Ronaldo has balled out up to a 91 overall. He's literally one of the world's best players. And yo, he scored 34 goals this season, including six in the Champions League, 10 assists. His teammates let him down. I think, guys, Ronaldo might need to go to another club if he wants to win the Ballon d'Or. Because going trophyless at Atletico, that's really not going to help. Of course, man. Of course, of course. When Ronaldo wants to leave, the agent, which is the wheel in this case, says, nope, you're staying at Atletico. Well, if Ronaldo is going to have to stay one more year at Atletico, we're giving him the armband. He's going to be captain, taking all free kicks, doing everything. We're making him the leader of this Atletico team, which is, by the way, actually good. It's not that bad staying in Atletico for another season when you know the wheel could send us to a random club. But yeah, now that Ronaldo is 91 rated, I'm hoping for a big, big season from him. I decided to check who wins the Ballon d'Or this year and it was Vinicius Jr. I'm hoping Ronaldo uses this as motivation and we're getting through the rest of the La Liga season and hopefully this time some trophies for Ronaldo. Um, guys, what went wrong? This is supposed to be a club where Ronaldo is playing at. How can they finish fourth? And how have Sevilla won the league? What? Well, at least Ronaldo gets one trophy at Atletico Madrid, but it's the Spanish Cup. Nah, 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 nah. Somebody save Ronaldo, man. PSG just put six goals past this Atletico side. Ronaldo is now 92 rated, and he scored 38 goals. Are you actually kidding? Those are Ballon d'Or worthy stats, but he's not going to win it because he's playing for a terrible Atletico team. The wheel, you need to save Ronaldo. Thankfully, the odds of staying at Atletico have reduced, and it looks like Ronaldo might be getting a move away from Madrid. Where's it gonna be? Okay, okay, Liverpool. I don't think Man United fans are gonna be happy about this, but since you guys literally kicked Ronaldo out of your club, this is fine. So Ronaldo is back in the Premier League, but this time playing for Liverpool. Okay, slight problem here at Liverpool. Where does Ronaldo play? Liverpool play with a centre forward formation. Hang on a minute. Is it maybe time to make Ronaldo a left winger once again? I mean, it's definitely possible because look at Ronaldo's stats. He's maxed out his pace. His shooting stats are crazy. He's gonna have to work a bit on his passing, but yep, Ronaldo can do it for sure. And there you go, we're putting Ronaldo in that left wing position. And he's got some really awesome teammates as well. Gravenberg, Shaposlai, Gakpo, Alejandro Baldi at the back. That Liverpool defense is very different now. Also, since we've joined a new club, we get to buy one of Ronaldo's former teammates. And I'm thinking we need a CDM or a right back. To be fair, I think CDM should be better. Who's a world-class CDM that played with Ronaldo? I mean, Casemiro's a shout, but 
he's like 35. Surely Ruben Neves has played with Ronaldo for the Portuguese national team. So yup, that counts. Ruben Neves joins Cristiano Ronaldo. I just checked Ronaldo's stats in these four seasons. And even with the wheel trying to do everything to ruin things, Ronaldo has still scored 126 goals. A couple of trophies though. That needs to change. And I'm hoping this season is in. Just checked who's won the Ballon d'Or and it's Kylian Mbappe. I'm hoping that motivates Ronaldo this season. We've made it to the end of the season and has Cristiano Ronaldo and Liverpool done it? Yes, Ronaldo gets his first league title and it's the Premier League. Oh, that's awesome, man. Look at Ronaldo with the Prem trophy. Wait, what? Rashford won the golden boot? Ah, oh, Ronaldo scored 25 goals. That's still pretty incredible, you know, but Rashford, what a season. To be fair, Ronaldo played as a left winger this time around, so yeah. But 94 overall now and he still was Liverpool's top scorer with 33 goals. Ah, oh, but in the Champions League, Juventus knocked him out six, dude. That's so annoying. But you know what? I think if Ronaldo stays at Liverpool for another season, he might be able to win the Champions League because this setup, I think, works for him. Everything now depends on the wheels decision. Let's see where it's going to send Ronaldo. There's still good odds of staying at Liverpool, but it looks like Ronaldo is going to be heading to Real Madrid. Wow. After winning the Premier League, he's going back to Madrid. Not going to lie, I kind of wanted Ronaldo to stay at Liverpool to win the Champions League here, yeah, but well, the wheel decides and we can't really do much. Hey, at least it's not sending us to Stoke City again. And so Cristiano Ronaldo has made the transfer to Real Madrid. Just look at this, guys. Ronaldo is 95 rated at the age of 23. He scored 159 goals so far, but he's only won three trophies and no Ballon d'Ors yet. But now he's at Real Madrid playing in this incredible team. Just look at this. We're going to see Ronaldo play with Bellingham, Vinicius Jr. as well. Yo, this team is just crazy. And of course, back at Madrid means Ronaldo is going to be playing as a striker. I don't even think this team needs a former teammate of Ronaldo to help them out because, oh my days, the squad is insane. Although there's no harm in signing Ruben Diaz, who actually played with Ronaldo for Portugal. Yo, the team Ronaldo is playing in, this is like 10 times better than even what was at Liverpool. We're getting through the season and come on, Ronaldo, it's time to win the Champions League. Okay, this is not a good sign. We've made it to the end of the season, but Ronaldo went down in his overall at the age of 20. 24? How did that happen? I just checked. There was no injury. He played almost every game, scored 30 times as well. It's a weird one because Real Madrid actually ended up winning La Liga. That's another trophy for Ronaldo. At the Super Cup as well. And no way Ronaldo is going to be playing his first Champions League final. What I'm really confused about is how Ronaldo lost the rating. I guess we should be worried about that because Ronaldo could legit win a Champions League for the first time in this video. And we need him to win this because this could get him the Ballon d'Or. Because it Remember, guys, the wheel is probably going to send us to a random club after this. And we'll never have a good chance to win the Champions League like this. Come on, Ronaldo. You've got to win the Ballon d'Or. You've got to win the Ballon d'Or. No! Cristiano Ronaldo scored in this Champions League final as well. But Juventus get the dub. Oh, that is so frustrating. That could honestly mean the Ballon d'Or's gone. And this was legit Ronaldo's best chance. I really want Ronaldo to get one more season to win the Champions League at Madrid but it's all in the hands of the wheel. There's still a high percentage chance of Ronaldo staying at Madrid. We're spinning the wheel now. Could it actually? Could it actually? Oh, that is so lucky, guys. That is so lucky. I thought we were definitely going to Man United or something like that. But Real Madrid, one more season. The wheel has given Ronaldo one more season at Madrid. Can he win the Champions League this time? And yes, guys, Ronaldo and Madrid have done it. Another Champions League final. Oh, okay. And this time, Ronaldo actually went up by two ratings up to a 96 and 28 goals in the process as well along with 17 assists and Real Madrid won La Liga as well Super Cup too the wheel gave Ronaldo one more opportunity is he gonna take it can he win the Champions League yes do it Ronaldo doesn't score but that's fine Fede Valverde gets it done for him the next stop for Ronaldo is October 30th when the Ballon d'Or is announced he's won the Champions League won La Liga this has got to be his moment but before that the wheel is about to choose Ronaldo's next club and I'm I'm not excited for this. I really want Ronaldo to stay at Madrid. But look at that. The odds to stay at Madrid is looking pretty slim. Let's see what happens. No way. No way. No way. I can't believe this. Three in a row at Madrid. Even the wheel knows Ronaldo's a Madridista. Looks like even the wheel
Brazil wants Ronaldo to win back-to-back -back Champions League trophies. But first, Ballon d'Or ceremony. The nominees are out and Ronaldo's going to be competing with his teammate Vinny Jr., Rodrigo and Mbappe. But we've now gotten Ronaldo up to a 97 overall. Surely he's winning the Ballon d'Or. This is the moment, guys. The Ballon d'Or ceremony. Cantona is going to be the one announcing it. And yes, it is Ronaldo. Let's go, guys. Despite the wheel sending us to the championship and everything, we've worked our way up. Ronaldo has won the Ballon d'Or. We're now getting through the rest of the season to see if Ronaldo can win back-to-back -back Champions Leagues. Nah, dude. Real Madrid are just cracked. How do they do this every time? Three Champions League finals in a row. Of course, we lost one, but we could win another. Before we see what Ronaldo does in that Champions League final, I'd really appreciate if you could take a moment and subscribe to the channel. It's my dream to hit 1 million subscribers, and we're getting so close. With your help, I can get there. So yeah, please subscribe. It's Feyenoord in the final, man. Surely Ronaldo can beat them. Come on. There you go. But I wish Ronaldo would score in the final. Regardless, though, another Champions League. Wait, Real Madrid also won La Liga this season? Are they on for a treble? Ah, no treble. A saucy that won the Spanish Cup. But that's still another trophy in the Super Cup. I think that second Ballon d'Or, though, is, is loading. Because 37 goals this season. Eight seasons with Ronaldo and his stats are actually crazy. 255 goals. The trophy count is looking a bit insane as well. But that one Ballon d'Or, I'm hoping it changes. Now that Ronaldo has won a Ballon on door champions leagues as well it's time to see what the wheel has got in store for him Bayern Munich that's where he's going next not gonna lie the wheel has been kind because Ronaldo's gonna be playing alongside the Mikt Musiala and even a 91 rated words and of course Ronaldo delivered in yet another league scoring 34 goals and going up to a 98 overall I'm really trying to get him to a 99 he of course won the Bundesliga and the German Super Cup but not the Champions League though and that kind of let him down for the Ballon d'Or. Ronaldo's career stats are crazy after nine seasons. Over 289 goals. One more season though. Where's Ronaldo heading? And I think it's gonna be red. Of course it is. Of course it's Manchester United for the final season. So for the final season, Ronaldo is back at Manchester. Yo, we got that Ronaldo and Hoyland team up at the top. Final season, I wanna see Ronaldo hit that 99 overall. I'm not sure about the Ballon d'Or. Well, actually, let's see what happens. Oh wait, here we are. Another Ballon d'Or ceremony. Kaka this time is going to be announcing the winner. There's Ronaldo. Has he won it though? And he has. Let's go. Ronaldo wins his what? Second Ballon d'Or. Let's flipping go. He's won a Ballon d'Or now at Man United, but this one is mostly for his exploits in Bayern Munich. I guess they really do rate the Bundesliga. Okay, but it looks like it's time to pack up for Ronaldo because this season's been an L for Man United. Fifth in the league and I'm looking at trophies and it looks like it's trophy-less season for Ronaldo. Yup, his former team Bayern are in a Champions League final. But hey, at least Ronaldo still did his job getting 29 goals, but no! He didn't make it to that 99 overall. But at least he won two Ballon Doors. Ronaldo scored over 300 goals in this challenge. Maybe we should do one with Messi to see how he would fare. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, why not watch me fix PSG? Because that was tough handling Mbappe's ego. Click here to watch that.